Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few weeks back, I came across this very useful device that many of you may not be aware of. A lot of you have probably seen or have used an infrared laser thermometer. But these guys only give you a very limited amount of information. So how about a device that can give you multiple points of information, plus give you a digital image of what you're looking at? How about if that device also allowed you to adjust the color palette so you can more easily tell what the temperature changes are? How about if that device gave you multiple temperature readings, high, low, and an average, plus also gave you a waveform pattern? Sounds like I'm having a fantasy dream? Well, actually, this device here can do all those things that I just mentioned. I know I have a lot of technicians in my audience that can benefit from this device, so I decided to try out this little guy. So today we're going to take a look at this infrared camera from Top Gun that is inexpensive, gives you a lot of information, and is super easy to use. So let's unbox this guy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or a DIY video. All right, here's a look at the box for you, and let's open this guy up. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now, this is the TC001 thermal imaging camera from Top Gun, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this camera retails for $2.99. But they also have a 5% discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get this little guy for $2.49. So that's a good way to save some money right there. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the camera itself, you get a nice storage case to keep it in, and you get a long cable right there to hook it up to a computer if you want to do that, and you get the owner's manual that tells you everything about how to use this camera, get it set up, all that kind of good stuff. The dimensions on this guy are really, really small. It's only 2.8 inches by 1.6 inches by half an inch in thickness. The weight on this guy is only one ounce, really compact and lightweight. It's meant to be used with a cell phone, so you know it's gonna be really small and lightweight. The resolution on this guy is 256 by 192 HD video, and it has an adjustable color palette. You can adjust the colors of the images to whatever color you're most comfortable with, so you can easily tell the differences of the temperature to whatever it is that you're trying to find. This camera has an image rotation function allowing you to see the image temperature from various different angles without having to rotate your phone. The app also has image enhancement that adjusts the sharpness and contrast so you can see the image much more clearly. This little guy works with Windows or Android systems, so it can be used on laptops, tablets, or cell phones. Like I mentioned previously, this comes with a 19-inch cable, giving you greater mobility so you can go handheld and not have to be attached directly to any device. The camera only consumes 0.25 watts of power, allowing you to run this up to 4 to 7 hours when continuously attached to any phone or tablet. This little guy can read temperatures from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees centigrade to 550 degrees centigrade. This camera has an accuracy of 2% or 0.1 degrees. The user can also select in the app up to three dimensions to check when taking readings so you can see the image and take a waveform reading on high, low, and average temperatures. So this camera is really quite excellent for auto mechanics, HVAC technicians, home efficiency technicians, computer repair techs, or even normal DIYers. Want to see what part of your house is getting too much or too little heat? Want to know where you have the drafts around your walls or windows that are losing all your cooling or heating? Are the brakes on your car locked up and overheating? Any place or any device that you want to test for temperature differences, this camera can help you more easily analyze and find out exactly what is going on. It will give you the temperature change display as you're looking at it so you can see if your repairs are working or not. So let's do some testing and see how this little guy performs. All right, guys, so let's take a little closer look at this little camera, and you can see it is a handsome little camera, and it is really, really tiny. You want for comparison, there you go. On the palm of my hand, that shows you how small that camera really is. Very lightweight, only one ounce. All you have basically is just the lens on the front of the camera. There are no controls on the camera itself. On the back of it, there's nothing there. On the sides, just little pads for you to hold on to it. And this right here is your USB-C connector, and that always sticks up like that. It doesn't push in, it doesn't fold back, it doesn't go anywhere. 
So that is the only weak part of the camera that you have to be careful with. Don't break this off, don't damage it, and you should be fine. But that is how you hook it up to whatever device you're gonna be using it with, and it is a very simple little device to be able to use. What you do is you download the app, and I have the app right here on my phone, you can see it right there, and you download the app on your phone, tablet, whatever you wanna use it on, or you can use it on the computer as well. And what you do is you put this little camera, like in this case on a phone, you hook it up to your USB-C connector, and that's how it attaches. Obviously point it away from you so you can see whatever the camera is seeing on your screen. This way it would be rather inconvenient. And for convenience sake, if you don't want to be tethered to your phone, you can also have the camera separated from it and use this cable right here to hook up to the camera and to your phone or to a tablet, computer, whatever. That way you can be handheld and basically looking at your screen and pointing the camera in a different direction if you have to get it into a small area or something like that. So it doesn't need to be attached directly to your phone or tablet if you don't want to. In fact, I'm gonna demonstrate it right now to show you how that looks. But anyway, one thing to tell you about the app before we start talking about it and showing you how it works and so forth. I know some people are gonna ask me this, so I may as well just answer it right up front. You download the app and you do not need to set up an account, okay? I know there's a lot of people out there that have concerns about privacy rights and all that. You don't need to give away your life. You don't need to give away personal information. Download the app and you can use it right as you download it. You don't need to set up an account. You don't need to give them any passwords or information. I downloaded it right now and I just turned it on to make sure it worked and it works just fine. No problem at all. I didn't have to set up an account, nothing online. It all stays on your phone you keep it local, that's it. No cloud information to worry about. So let me hook that up. And this little cable right here has two connectors at the front. You have your USB-C and then you have your USB-A. It goes inside of that. And that way you can hook it up to a computer, tablet, whatever. You have two choices of two connectors for that. The other end hooks up to the camera. That way you're free to move around and do whatever you want. So let me demonstrate it for you. Hook it up right here. And then you hook up the camera and the phone will instantly recognize it. And you hook that up, and right away it says that, yes, the camera is right there. Turn it on, and we're off and running, and there is the app for you right there. And there you have a choice of different things that you can do. Like I said, the gallery, it keeps all your videos and images right here on your phone, so you don't need to worry about that being on the cloud. The camera, you are free to basically move it around point it any direction that you want, point the lens wherever you want it to go, and see the little light telling you it's on right there, nothing on the other side. But you can point it at whatever you want, and you have the screen over here where you can see whatever it is you're doing, and the two are independent of each other, giving you a lot more flexibility. So to do that, what you do is you click right here on the thermal imaging, and you can see right there, it starts setting up and looking at whatever you're looking at. See, I have it pointing away from you right there, I actually am holding it upside down, but that doesn't matter. You can turn it the other way. And if you're turning it that way, then you're looking at whatever it is that you're looking at. You see right there, I'm looking at some tools I have right here, and it's telling you the temperature of the tools. Now, of course, everything here in my garage is going to be pretty cold right now. I don't have any real temperature differences, but I'm going to shoot some footage in a moment and show you some temperature differences. But you can see right there, it's showing you three different temperatures of whatever I'm looking at and the surroundings. So that makes it very convenient right there. And these are the standard colors that come with it. I have not set up the color palette to anything that I want in particular. But that shows you right there. You pan around and look at whatever you want. And that'll show you right there the temperature of whatever you're looking at. So let me take some footage showing you other stuff. And I'll mix that in here and be right back. All right, guys, here we are in my garage, and I just turned on my car right now so I could shoot some thermal imaging of my vehicle, and you can see all the blues. You can see how this engine was not on until just a moment ago, so everything is really, really cold. A lot of cold metal going on right there, but even though it's only been running for a couple of minutes, you can see exactly how hot everything gets really very quickly. And as we're looking at this video, if you look at the temperatures, you'll see how they keep climbing because it's generating more and more heat. And that's the beauty of this camera where you can see exactly how things are changing and you can look at an image showing you the whole thing instead of just like one of those thermal uh, laser thermometers where you're just pointing a red dot at something. You don't know if you're getting an accurate reading or not. With this, you know exactly what you're looking at 
because it's giving you a visual representation, not just a temperature reading. So you can see the temperature of the entire surroundings of the engine bay, where you can see the exhaust manifold down there. It's up to about 400 degrees almost, where it started in the low 300s when I started shooting the video. And now we're almost at 400 degrees. And I'm gonna go around to the other side of the engine in just a moment, but right here you can see as I shoot the back of it, you can see right there one of the heater lines over there showing you that it's pretty warm. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. But you can see always over here also, you can see how cold the rest of the metal is around the engine. So things will eventually get hotter, but right now it's still very blue because it's very cold. Now let's move around to the other side. And over here, you can see the alternator right on top there. You see it's warming up because it is working. You see the exhaust manifold down there. And then you see the heater lines up here. You see how above it and below, how hot those guys are getting because the coolant is already heating up. And that's why when you point it right at it, this camera gives you a visual representation and it gives you the temperature of what everything is and also the surroundings as well. So that's the beauty of this, that it gives you a much more complete picture of what you're looking at, where with, like I said, the other thermometers, you really couldn't get a very good idea what's going on. With this, you can take a video, you can take a picture, you can do a lot of different things and maintain a record of what you saw. And if you're making repairs and so forth, you can go back to it. Now here we're looking at a heater in my office because it's a cold day and I turned on the heater, but the camera sees the heat, but visually I do not see that. This heater does not show any red wires that you can see. Normally you just see a screen right there and you don't see any heat going behind it. But with this camera, you can see it all happening. And you see the power cord right there. It looks red hot, but it really isn't. It's just showing you the heat going through the cord itself. But normally it's just like a regular power cord. You don't see any heat and you don't feel any heat coming out of it. Now looking right here, we're looking at my computer monitor and you can see the corner where the LEDs are the hottest lighting up the rest of the screen. And you can see my glasses right there that I just took them off my face and they're still warm because I was wearing them. Same right here with the chair. I was sitting in this chair just a moment ago and my body heat, you can see right there, how I warmed up the front of the chair. The back of the chair is still blue because it's still cold, but the front of it is where I was sitting. Now right here, you're looking at a window and you can see the difference between the window and the cold walls around it, where you see the window gets a little bit of heat from the outside. And right here, we're looking at my computer where you can see it's running. So it's heated up right there and it's showing you how much it's warming up the room. That little computer acts like a little heater when it's not that cold. But when it's really cold, I need a regular heater to heat things up for me. So that gives you an idea how useful this little camera can really be to give you more information than just a regular thermometer. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of the Top Gun TC001 thermal imaging camera. I think this is a great little thermal camera for the money. It's very affordable when compared to other thermal imaging cameras that can run double the price. It's compact and easy to use. No special equipment needed to use this little camera. Simply download the app and use the camera with any Android phone or tablet. Very convenient for any technician to use for checking mechanical problems with cars or machinery. Great for HVAC technicians that need to know exactly where the heat or cool air is flowing from in the repairs that they're doing. Also great for realtors or home buyers who want to know if a house that they're interested in has good or bad insulation so as you can see exactly where you're losing all your thermal energy. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.